Hi there, this is Vic at Four Seasons. We're here in our cactus and succulent area today to talk to you about some of the reasons why cactus and succulents are so popular. They're a very easy group of plants to take care of, most of them just requiring some good amounts of light and some minimal watering. During the winter time, things take in general a lot less water than they do in the growing season or the summertime and the days are longer, at which point succulents especially would like to have a, a nice watering once or twice a week. Um, I'm going to show you a few of my favorites and explain to you why they're my favorites and how easy some of these can be. Almost everybody knows what a jade plant is. Now this is a succulent. One of the differences I'm going to show you between the difference between a succulent and a cactus um, is that succulents in general have a thick fleshy leaf, which if you squeeze them, you would be able to get a lot of moisture out of them. Okay. Now, succulents are, are, are that way, but so are cactus. In other words, most cactuses, not all, but most cactuses, if you cut them open, obviously they're full of moisture. And so in that respect, most cactuses are succulents, but not all succulents are cactus. Okay, so but a jade plant is one of the ones that's very familiar with to most people. It's a great house plant. Uh, it's easy to care for, likes lots of sunshine and a, a minimal amount of water. Um, when we talk about uh, one of the other true differences between cactuses and succulents is that a cactus is truly a modified, uh, a modified stem. It does not truly have much in the way of leaves. Occasionally, very, very small leaves, but not often. Um, this is a true, this is a hardy cactus. Some cactus and succulents are hardy outside in our area, okay? Lots of them that we have here are not. They're more for houseplant type uh, of things, but they're still very interesting. This particular cactus, often called a pad cactus, or a bunny ears cactus, is an apuntia, is the, is the botanical name of it. And even though you have uh, ones that doesn't look like it's very nasty, these are all tiny little thorns on here that if you get them on you, uh, can be pretty miserable to get out and, and uh, be about as painful as a big cactus. So we talk to recommend that we use, we use tongs when we handle a lot of our cactuses that are, that are kind of nasty. Um, other ones like this golden barrel, which I... You know, that's a golden barrel cactus. That's pretty obvious that you don't want to fall on that poor thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really, uh, very thorny. And yet, it's a great cactus. It, don't, it doesn't flower until it gets really big. But it's a beautiful cactus, a golden barrel, just a barrel type with lots of gold thorns on them. Um, so they're, they're, that's a great plant that you can run um, in, your, in, your, in your succulent selection or, or cactus planter, something like that for you. Um, one of the reasons why cactus, lots of cactus, are so uh, popular is because after they go through a cold treatment during the winter time, they initiate flower buds. And there's nothing more beautiful than a cactus when it has a flower bud open on it. Uh, here at Four Seasons, we almost sell every one we can get that comes into flower with a nice big uh, flower on it. There comes in purples and pinks and whites um, and beautiful, beautiful flowers. Uh, for most cactuses. Um, some of the other things that are kind of unique, like a string of peas or a string of pearls, uh, which is a succulent. Uh, one of my favorites, it has a wonderful spicy smell when it comes into flower, the flat, little tiny flowers on them, very spicy and very sweet smelling. Uh, a great easy plant to take care of. And of course, who wouldn't know about an aloe vera? Also called a medicine plant. Um, very easy to start new ones. Very easy to grow in even a lower light environment in your house if you don't overwater it. Uh, and every once in a while you can split them up and give some away to your friends and neighbors. Uh, if, it, if you burn yourself, um, you can break a piece of this off um, and rub it on that area. It's also called the burn plant. And uh, it works very well at relieving the pain and getting the healing processes started. So that's a great thing about this particular succulent. So there's lots of other ones that are too many, too many to mention. Another one, donkey's tail or burrow's tail. It's a sedum, which trails over in a hanging basket. It's very, very beautiful and unique uh, little plants. Uh, just uh, another one, crown of thorns. Has nice, nice orangey red flowers on it, sometimes some other colors. But it's a, it's a succulent. It's actually related. It's in the same family, if you will, as poinsettias. So if you happen to cut it, um, or, or wound it, it leads a milky substance much like a poinsettia would and because they are definitely related to each other. So um, 
these are just some great uh, houseplants to have. And like I say, once again, they're easy care. If you have questions about succulents or cactus, or you want to know some, how to plant up a nice little succulent planter for yourself or cactus planter for yourself, or need just some general information, stop by and see us, and we'll be glad to help you any way we can. Thank you.